Yo, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Peacock back with another Ground Branch video and today we're going to be running the M110K1. Uh, it's a pretty good DMR rifle, uh, slash sniper rifle, whatever you want to call it. It's chambered in 308 and we're going to be using it today to take on some terrorists uh, solo on Creek. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to get into this and we are going to set this rifle up and then use it so I can kind of show you guys some customization for it. So we're going to come in here and the AccuPower we're going to go ahead and get rid of. I do not like that thing. And we're going to run the Spectre DR. Get that thing away from my face just a little bit. Can't be a sneaky sniper without a suppressor. You can see 762 NATO or commonly, more commonly known as 308. I'm going to run that. Put a flashlight on the side of it. And rail mount. Put that up there. You know, that looks pretty good. Okay. And we're going to throw some rail panels on this thing because they just look beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, under barrel, we're going to run the bipod grip. And then the sight. See, I need a low rail. RMR. All right. So this is going to be our rifle setup. Beautiful weapon system and uh, packs a ton of power. Probably one shot everybody. Uh, anybody that I hit is going to go down, that's for sure. Um, so let's apply. And then we're going to go M110K slash Spectre. Is that how you spell it? Ah, whatever. Be all right. That's not important. All right. And then we're going to be taking in our Glock 19 suppressed. Okay, check this rifle set up real quick, and let's just uh, see how everything's going to function here. Laser looks good. I do believe this thing is semi-auto. It is. All right. Haven't played with it too much, um, so I'm going to kind of get a feel for the weapon as we're going through this. And uh, as you can see, we are on veteran difficulty, and we are running solo. So, from my experience with this map, a road sucks for a solo spawn. You're kind of like in the middle of everything. Rocks suck because you right whenever you, as soon as you spawn, you're under fire. Um, barn is going to be our option of choice, and we will push sort of uh, kind of straight up from barn. We'll wrap around the back side of the barn, and then push up into this area where there's a little tunnel and everything. I I've come to find out that it's easier to hit the outskirts of the map and then go into the middle of the map. Um, from barn, you kind of got a couple lines of sight that you could take out a few terrorists over there. So that's what we're going to try to do and hope we get good RNG on these spawns because it is creek and it is hard to see these terrorists. So we're going to try to get through this with as um, minimalistic as possible, as smooth as possible. Possible. Cliff. All right, now there should be one normally coming through these woods after you shoot. Just want to kind of scan the area. There he is. Ooh, that 308 knock him down. All right, let's get moving. Don't tag me in the face. Don't tag me in the face. All right. Last two or three times, I kind of ran a little bit of testing. There's a guy right around this corner. He is in here somewhere. I know it. A little bit of overshooting, but double tapping never hurt. All right. That's clear. Okay, let's take a second. Check my mag. Let's throw a new one in it. <clears throat> I don't know why I double tapped. Only got like six mags with this thing, so we gotta make sure we get through it. I 
from here you can kind of get a couple lines of sight on some of them. One. There he went. Gotta let the arm rest real quick. They're gonna pin me down over here. I don't know why it's fast dumping the mags whenever I'm just clicking it. One time I might need to double check my settings, but I tried to go through everything before I started recording, so whatever. It's just raw gameplay footage anyway, it's no edit, no nothing. I try to keep everything as realistic as possible to the user's experience. Uh, we're going to push down, wrap around this little creek, and come over the top of this hill and see if I can't pick off uh, a couple more of them in the middle of the map. But the more you shoot, the more you alert. So just remember whatever you do, shoot and move. I can't tell if that's him or not. There's normally a, there's a sniper tower somewhere right there, and uh, that guy normally has a dragon off or SVD, which is more commonly known. Hopefully, he doesn't take my head off while I'm trying to get over this hill. We're just gonna keep pushing. I hate the angle on this building. Let's push it. There's only like two or three in this building, so I'm just trying to get my arm strength up before I start engaging. Alright, another one around this corner probably. Up top on this ridge. No. Okay. So he must have been downstairs. Let's push in. These dudes are down. He had an M4. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up and uh, check for another mag. The MP5. Okay. All right, let's take a breather. Make sure we double check all of our weapons. I just got a half a mag. Excellent. We're gonna go back, push through middle right here. Try to get over here on this rock without getting shot in the face. 
as we all know, bullets are bad for the hilt. And he is up there. He's just at a terrible angle. Right, he's down. I took out three or four of them over here, so I don't know how many there are. I can do this one of two ways. I can go over there, push down that ridge line, and go to the two cabins in the back. But then I've got to worry about this, these people coming up behind me. <clears throat> I think we're just going to go ahead and push down. I don't see anything. Doesn't mean there aren't there though. I wonder if I can get a nade in there. I'm gonna try it. Hail Mary. Good nade placement, I think. Anybody left in there is dead. Well, one would hope. Let's see if I can get this M4 out. I've been having problems with this weapon swap crap. Do you hold it down? There it is. All right. I'm just going to need this building too. Oh, didn't make it. They've got to be alerted by now, man. Two grenades. Okay, he's dead. I don't know if a grenade did kill him. I don't know. I think I can get through like the last seven or eight of them. With just one clip of this M4 and the rest of my sniper rifle, so we're gonna kind of push up on this road over here. See if I don't get my face taken off by a random sniper or just this veteran difficulty aimbot that I've been dealing with for the past month. Orange should be clear. Generally, they will patrol, but yeah, see, there he goes. He saw me too. That's a bit of difficulty shit. He's got iron sights and can lock onto you from a mile away. It's like he's an F-22 Raptor. And <laughs> two remaining. There was one. Let's top off. I'm gonna push up this little trail right here. Sit in the bushes. Not gonna lie, a little jittery right now. No, half of you are probably like, there's only one person left, but. I don't know where he's at, and with this aimbot dude, they can literally just take your head off without warning. You'll never see him, and you'll never, you'll hear the gunshot, but that's about it.
If I had to guess, he's probably in the gray barn, considering I've already killed one over here, but... Get in there. I suck. There he is. We need the help over here. Wow, what a shot. <clears throat> God, I woof those grenades though. Twenty nine shot, sixteen hit. Fifty five percent accuracy, and this is not too totally terrible so um god my nerves my nerves are super shot right now so anyway I'm gonna kinda run back over the weapon and everything and kinda show you the operator one more time a uh, beautiful weapon if you're gonna use any rifle I uh, do recommend this especially for the creek yeah that's a dang good run right there alright uh, without further ado that will conclude the video and uh, if you enjoyed the content please like subscribe uh, you know leave a comment share with your friends all right i hope you all have a blessed day peace out